So Microsoft may replace the start button with Copilot AI in Windows 12. And honestly, we're already starting to see it in Windows 11. I've obviously already disabled it on mine, but Copilot Preview is right here. Uh, obviously, mine doesn't work because I've, I've done some stuff to kind of strip it out. But I thought that was kind of interesting that that's, that's a thing that they're actually exploring. And when I say replace the start button, the CEO actually comes in and talks about it during this article, which is kind of bonkers to me. They want to completely re-envision the way you use your Windows desktop. This reminds me, this has such Windows 8 start screen energy to it that I'm like, oh my God, but even worse, <laughs> I mean, at least start screen was still kind of a start menu, just took up way too much real estate. This seems like someone smoked a ton of dope and said, hey, I got a great idea. Let's remove the start button that everyone knows and... We'll replace it with AI, man. That would be so awesome. Oh my. That just think about it. AI takes over your computer and just works the computer for you, man. Yeah. That's what that's what I'm envisioning here. As uh, I think it was even Naj and Mattel. I don't think they said it maybe in this article. Uh according to Nadella. The upcoming OS could change the entire user experience with Copilot, somehow replacing the start button. The Copilot is like a start button. It becomes the orchestrator for all your app experiences. So, for example, I just go there and express my intent, and it either navigates me to an application, or it does something different, right? It brings the application to the Copilot, so it helps me learn, query, and create, and completely changes, I think, the user's habits. Maybe you can replace the user too. <laughs> what a crackhead. What in the hell? How is this even thought up by a CEO? Like, no, this is such a terrible idea. Like it is so abysmally bad that it has 0% chance of success. And yet he is like going all in on this co-pilot, replacing the user experience and reporting everything back to Microsoft that the user does. The thing that blows my mind the most about this quote is this right here. I just go there and express my intent. It either navigates me to the application, which is what you want, or it brings the application to co-pilot. What? What are you on, bro? That is insane. That is just pure insanity. What in the hell? So here is what my take on this is past this. Windows 12 is going to be complete garbage. If this is the, the route they, they're going to take, and it sure looks like it is. So it's going to be just absolute dumpster fire right out of the gate because of Copilot. Windows 11... They might try to integrate this feature in and force users onto it because they're smarter than you. And that's what they're telling us here. And Copilot sure as hell is better than you. And it's going to help you be a better computer user. That is what their thought process is. So having said all that, you better learn Linux. If you only know Windows now, get your ass over, start learning some courses and start tinkering around on like a Raspberry Pi. But you're... You absolutely have to start learning Linux because eventually they're going to bring this to Windows 10, maybe. They might not give you an option. Or it goes EOL, like Windows 10 in 2025 when this launches. Probably the they'll, they'll end of life, Windows 10. And then you don't get security updates. And then some nasty exploit comes out. And uh, you're going to be like, well, I can't do the Copilot thing, so I guess I'm just going to get hacked. I'm going to be part of a ransomware attack like Windows 7 users were in 2018 and onward. So my takeaway is learn Linux or die. <laughs> or just use your phone for everything like some users do. Because that are that's pretty much the options going forward. Or spend some money and buy a Mac. I mean, honestly, Mac, I, I like to talk trash on Mac all the time. But at least it's a, at least they, they don't make something that crazy. 
So that's all I have to say about Microsoft replacing the start button.